Welcome back. Today I have Ipsy's Glam Bag Plus for December. First off, I would like to start with the bag because it's super cute. Um, I don't see myself using this for makeup because it is such a light color and I'm prone to spilling and making messes and staining things. But I think this would be super cute for technology, for like chargers and battery packs and that sort of thing. So I'm definitely keeping this bag. The theme for December is Time to Shine. And my inner card has 2022 Beauty Horoscopes. So I really like to know why the Ipsy Plus doesn't have what the bag contains on the card. And then sometimes Ipsy Regular has it and sometimes it doesn't. It's just super confusing to me. Um, but let's jump into this bag. So first we have the Jekka Block Liquid Concealer in 1.0. This is 10 milliliters and is valued at $15. I wasn't entirely pleased with choice for this month. This was a choice item. Um, but it wasn't the greatest choice that I've seen. But this concealer appears to be a good shade match for me. And just like putting a little bit on my hand, it seems like it covers up pretty well. And the formula is liquidy, but not like runny. So that's a plus for me. Um, and this isn't the biggest concealer I've ever seen. The choice screen made it seem like it was going to be a lot bigger. Um, but still $15 um, is not a bad price for concealer. Um, if it if it holds up pretty well. So I'll have to see how it does with creasing and my under eye bags and that all will be in the full review in the blog post which is always the first link below. So my next choice item was the Shania B Miami Miami Knots Pressed Pigment Palette and it is 10 grams and it is valued at $20. I really like the mauve and the taupe and the burgundy and I could see myself using the shimmery colors not the glitter or the gray um, but I really like the reds and the browns in this so that's why I chose this and again choice wasn't super great this month which is a shame because December you would think they would want to go out of the you know the year with the bang um, but this palette is very pretty and I'll have full swatches at the end of the video. And my last choice item is the Shades by Shan Bronzer in Latte. It is 7 grams and it is valued at $18. This says it is from a contour palette. So this is more of a contour shade for me than it is a bronzer shade. Um, just because it is a little less warm than I, um, I usually wear for bronzer. I don't wear a ton of bronzer to begin with, but when I do, I usually wear something a little bit warmer than this. So I will, um, swatch this as well and include swatches at the end, but I could see myself using this as a contour and I'm curious to see what the full palette looks like. Um, and how they chose the value at eighteen dollars, so I'll um, look into that now for non-choice items. This is the Clarity RX Daily Dose of Water Hyaluronic Acid Hydrating Serum. It is one ounce and it is valued at seventy-two dollars. Um, I guess this is just pure hyaluronic acid. I've never seen hyaluronic acid just pure like this. Usually it's accompanied in some sort of with something. So I'm currently using that product from, I can't remember if it was from BoxyCharm or Ipsy last month um, that had like niacinamide and BHA and AHA and hyaluronic acid in it. Um, so I'm using that, so I'll have to stop using that to uh, switch this in, but um, $72 for an ounce of product is quite a bit considering that product 
um, from last month was about the same size and it was priced better. So um, I'll have to see how this fits in with my skincare and if it does any better at moisturizing than that other product did. And last up from a brand that I do recognize finally, um, we have the Elemis Peptide for Eye Recovery Cream. It is 15 milliliters and it's valued at $49. So this says it helps dark shadows and puffiness, and if it does that, I'm sold. This 50 milliliters is quite a bit for an eye product, so this will last quite some time. And I did get an eye product in, I just filmed it recently, um, the December Ipsy regular. Um, so I'll have to try that for a week and then try this for a week, which it really isn't enough time to try out an eye product and see if it works. Um, but that other one was super small, so it's not like I had a ton of product to begin with. Um, but, um, my eyes, under eyes are just terrible and I'm considering eye uh, filler, um, just to help with the deepness of them but nothing will help with the darkness I guess so we'll see if this helps. So this month's bag was valued at $174. Um, for a 25 I think it's still 25 BoxyCharm just went up but I think Ipsy stayed 25 or maybe it's 29 as well. I can't remember. Anyways for under $30 that's not a bad price um, or a bad value for the box. Um, that's that's pretty good. I would like to see it closer to 200 rather than what Botsy Charm has been sending, which has been in the low 100s. Um, so I'm pretty pleased with this bag. The choice wasn't the greatest, but the two products that I was sent that I didn't choose are within the profile that I would um, like to see. Eye products, um, moisturizing products, that sort of thing. And um, I mean, I want to see makeup in my bag. I would just like to see a brand maybe that I've heard of, but that I haven't been able to try. I really like that bag where we saw, uh, saw the um, Viseart palette in it or um, something like that. Something that's a smaller version of a high value product. But this bag wasn't terrible at all. I really like the bag itself and I'm super curious how the palette swatches. So I will try out the palette and the contour, bronzer, whatever you want to call it, but um, I'm most excited about the, eye pro the under eye product and the concealer because if those two together can help my under eye bags, then I'm here for it. But that is all for this month's Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. I hope that you'll give this video a like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!